Yes, it's definitely perfect patio weather to get out, have some food, drinks, whatever you want on this Sunday. But Lisa, here's our immediate forecast. So tomorrow, that sunshine, man, it's going to be widespread. And then our UV index is actually going to be very high. So make sure if you are out and about tomorrow, grab that sunscreen, reapply that. And then we're also tracking these thunderstorms in central and eastern Oregon. But really, next week is going to be a nice and pleasant week. Now on the coast at the moment, Lincoln City, mostly cloudy, and yet they've seen some drizzle out there. Still, though, it's warm, 64 degrees, where we're not really seeing um, any rain, of course, is the valley. But I do want to point out the northern part of the shoreline has seen a few sprinkles. And then central and eastern Oregon, they've also seen some rain falling in the way of thunderstorms and lightning. So very active down there in Lakeview. It's made its way throughout Burns, Oregon. Oregon up to Baker City as well and there's going to continue to be thunderstorm threats throughout tonight and it does include Bend here so central and eastern Oregon east of the Cascades with a little stretch there in the southern part of our state with elevated thunderstorm threats so lightning possible hail wind gusts as well however by the time we get into Monday where you should be in the clear of any thunderstorm potential in the eastern uh, part of our state. Tualatin Valley, partly cloudy, but a lovely afternoon, evening out there. 73 degrees. The winds are calm out of the north. And then Vancouver, I'll step out so you can see this view of the Columbia River. Thanks to our Hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera, it's 75 degrees. The winds are out of the north northwest at just eight miles per hour. We also have calm winds in Portland, where we are now at 77 few clouds above, but as we go into our evening, you'll see that we are going to have clear skies tonight and then by about 11 p.m. looking to be in the low 60s. That dew point right now stands at 55. We could see a bit of a breezy uh, evening, especially in this 7 o'clock hour, uh, but then those winds looking to calm down here in Portland. Here is where we have unofficially topped off that 77 mark. A bit warmer in the southern part of the Willamette Valley. Salem got up to 84 today. Astoria coming in at 60 for that daytime high. We continue with the warm weather. We also continue with the dry conditions. You know, we look at this bar graph, see how that's just a tad elevated? Tuesday, you might see a sprinkle or two, maybe just a couple raindrops, but then we look to stay dry, and next weekend, maybe a sprinkle or two. The good news is this is the latest drought monitor here in Oregon, and really it's just central and parts of eastern Oregon that are in the dry category. But as far as the state of Oregon goes, Oregon is not in drought, any kind of drought right now. So that is very good to see, especially when we think about how we're continuing to stay dry, right? All right, let's go into our Monday morning. We could see some early morning clouds, but then plenty of clearing. Monday, you can expect plenty of sunshine. Tuesday morning, that's where we get a few uh, clouds, and that's where we could see a sprinkle or two. Mostly on the coast, probably will stay dry here in Portland, and then by Tuesday night, uh, clearing. And so Tuesday, you could start out with some clouds, but it's going to be a lovely Monday on the coast after those morning clouds move on through. Uh, Tillamook daytime high expected to be 66 up and down the valley tomorrow looking to hover right around 80 degrees for that daytime high. Remember to grab the sunscreen though because in Portland tomorrow that UV index is going to be in the very high category. Here we go checking in on that seven day forecast. So very pleasant by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday and then another 80 degree day Thursday before Lisa we look to cool off next weekend. I like your hello sunshine tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jamie. Mm -hmm.